Hello everyone, I'm Milan and welcome to Produce With Ease. In today's video, we're going to talk about shortcuts in Cubase and how can you triple your speed in Cubase by using it. So we're going to talk about some default workload shortcut on how to make you fly in your project window, but also I'm going to teach you how to create your own unique shortcuts in Cubase. And this can be extremely useful and it can completely create you a unique experience uh, according to your needs. So let's jump into it. Okay, the first shortcut that we are going to look at is going to be a zooming shortcut. Now, zooming is very important to have a fast workflow around your project, you know, especially when you have a lot of tracks, you need to jump from a section to section, and therefore using zooming shortcuts will help you a lot. Now, let's just quickly look at zooming options. Now, as you probably may know, we have zooming options here in this lower right corner. And we have these sliders, so we can do vertical zooming, right? And we can do horizontal zooming like this by dragging these. Or if we click on the arrow here, we can choose some presets. Let's say zoom tracks two rows. Um, and we can do the same thing for the horizontal zooming. So again, the lower the value, the more detailed zooming is. Now let's say if I do uh, three seconds, something like this. And let's bring it back to one minute. Okay. Now, yes, you can use these options, but if you always, you know, go down, then you need to click on, let's say this triangle, choose the option. It just takes a lot of time, especially when you're doing a creative work as music. It just, you know, you don't want to get distracted that much and that often. So the faster way to do it would be just to use default shortcuts in Cubase, which are letter G and H. And look, when I press G, I zoom in, Actually, I zoom out, sorry. And when I press H, I zoom in. You can also hold it for faster effect. And just like that, you're flying through the project. Now, for vertical zooming, because this was horizontal zooming. Now, for vertical zooming, you can just add letter shift and then press G to zoom out or H to zoom in and make these tracks way more wider. And this is a way more faster than just, you know, running all the way, you know, down and then choosing the options Believe me, always use shortcuts. It's way more faster. Okay, now let's talk about locators. Um, there is a very convenient shortcut, and it's probably one of my favorite, to put locators around any element in the project. Now, you know, to add locators, normally we should go to the bar line and then wait for this uh, pencil symbol to show up. And then, you know, you hold your left click and then you drag it and you add your left and right locator and then again we can maybe loop this area um, or zoom on it now this can be useful you know when to, when you just specifically want to uh, put locators around specific part of a project so you just you know strictly want to drag it but let's say if i want to just work on let me zoom in a little bit again i will use letter h let's say i want to uh, work on this solo part here on this part this is like one two three four bar phrase and if I just go here and hover the pencil and then I drag it, I need to be precise to look where the bar lines here are. Now, the faster way would be to just click on the element and press letter P. Bam. And just like that, I've added both the left and the right locator on both side of, sides of this event. And if I click on any other event, let's say I choose a big, bigger one, I click on it again, press letter P, and I've instantly added... Um, locators are on both sides. Very convenient workflow shortcut uh, that I also use a lot uh, is um, when I want to focus on one specific track. Again, let's use this uh, track from the previous um, example. And I can just press letter Y. And when I press letter Y, look what happens. I instantly get vertically zoomed in this track so it gets you know way more wider so i can see the midi note or uh, the audio wave you know my recording uh, audio track and so on so you know it gets more in detail but not just that uh, let me zoom so if i click on this track again and i press letter y um, it will get minimized again so the small one and now let's say if i zoom in all of these tracks i'm going to use shift plus h now, be aware that when you focus on this one track, and I will do it right now, so I'll press Y, look what happens with the other tracks. 
see they all get small so all of the tracks in your project get you know this tiny and just this track that you want to focus on gets way more bigger so you know if you're okay with that then you use this option but if you want to keep some other tracks you know wider as well then you maybe won't want to use this one but again if this is the case go for it it's very useful in this part, let's make some shortcuts. So I promised you that we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to make your own shortcuts in Cubase. And this is extremely useful because you can customize the things you like. And maybe, you know, different people need different shortcuts depending on a genre they're working on or, you know, just the things they are doing in Cubase. And to create your own shortcuts, we should go to Edit tab and then to Key Commands. Now, when you open key commands, uh, let me just go back. You can see all of these folders. And you can, if you collapse any of these, let's do the first one, add track. You can see the options or the commands that Cubase has, like add track, but then what kind of track, like arranger track, audio track, and so on. And you can see that I have two shortcuts here, T for add track and A for audio. But all of these other options can also be shortcuts, can be programmed, but they are not by default in Cubase. Um, so to assign basically uh, sh a shortcut to any option you want, you just click on any option. So let's say add track and we can add, 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 um, let's say add MIDI track. Or um, let's actually add, uh, let's add arranger track. So if I go to Arranger Track, I just click on that option, and then I go here, type in key, and then you type in a key. And let's say if I press again, letter A. Oh, sorry, not Shift, then A, okay. And then I would go Assign. But if the letter I'm using right now is taken, like the case is here, it's for my audio tracks, look what Cubase is going to tell me. I will say Assign, and then Cubase will say, A is already in use, right? Do you still want to use this? Because if I choose A for this, then I will remove that other shortcut. So that's one thing to be aware when making shortcuts in Cubase. Now, I will cancel this one because I don't want to change this one. But you see the principle how it works. Find a key that is free or the one that you can replace because you don't need the other maybe shortcut. You don't use it that often. But one thing before changing any of these options, and again, there are plenty of these options. I recommend you scroll through all of these folders, try you know what works for you. And uh, before doing that, before doing any changes, go to this tab here, Presets. And I would recommend you just creating your own preset. So you can click on this disk here. You can click on Store, give a name, you know, like a test or whatever you want it. Then press OK. Then that preset will be selected like I have here. Let's say I go to my test preset. OK, so I'm using shortcuts for my test preset now. Or, or if I go to my default, which is Mickey Lee. Um, then I'm using the shortcuts from, so you can create different presets and you, you can use different sets of shortcuts in different workflows. Um, for example, if we go to Zoom, we can just type in here as well. I will just type in Zoom and click on Search. Um, there are different zooming shortcuts. Now I can just go to this Search here symbol and just click on it and look for other Zoom options. So we have Zoom in, Zoom in vertically, uh, then we have editing and so on, many, many zooming options. Now, I like using these options here under Zoom folder. And I have this, um, I have created a shortcut for this specific option. It says um, Zoom to, uh, where is it? Okay, Zoom to locators, this one here. And this one wasn't here. If you use default Cubase shortcuts, you won't see it. But let's see what this one does. So I used uh, letter F for this one. And if I just click and let's first press, press letter P to put locators. And then if I press F, voila, I just instantly zoom in the track. I can use the previous shortcut Y and make it even larger. And just like that, I just press three keys on my keyboard and I, you know, got things happen very fast and zoomed in on my, you know, on my, in my um, project and I can work on it in more detail. So it's, so, you know, it speeds up your workflow um, a lot. So, again, let's go back to key commands, experiment with these, explore these folders. Again, remember to create your own preset. And if you're used to working with some other programs, uh, such as Pro Tools, for example, 
You can use Pro Tools key, key commands or Logic. You know, so if you're switching from different DOS, you can always go here and use their preset. Let's also check out some of the more basic stuff here. Uh, now we have created some of our shortcuts. We put the locators, we are zoomed in. Uh, the great thing that can be useful as well when you know jumping around in between uh, locators would be numeric one and two on your keyboard. So you can just press one or two. So I just press two. Let's go to one again to jump from the left and to the right locator. So one and two quickly transfers you from one locator to another. And you can also, uh, let's take a listen to this track, right? And I can use a key command S, right? So I can use S on my keyboard to just solo the track. So let's play the project. Right, that's also convenient. Maybe you're editing something, you want to listen to the part and or you're mixing it and you want to listen to it uh, with the entire track. So you can just press solo button to just solo it quickly and see how it sounds by itself. Okay, and guys, this would be it uh, about shortcuts. I just want to tell you, if you have any questions, feel free to write down in the comment section. Also, uh, please tell me what shortcuts do you use? Do you have any favorite? You know, what makes your life easier in Cubase? Uh, do you use any of these shortcuts I've been showing you here? Feel free to write it down. And also, please like and subscribe if you can, because that really helps me grow my channel. And of course, uh, make sure to check out my uh, complete Cubase Mastery course. It's a 12-hour course. You can find it in the description below if you want to completely master Cubase. And see you next video.